Hey and welcome to the video. Today I have just bought myself a new monitor. I have bought the Samsung Odyssey G9 OLED 49 inch monitor. So I'm hoping that the videos will be recorded a bit better. You might already notice but I think the colours should be better on the video because the software I use records the display not the actual uh, game. So whatever it shows on the display it should uh, come across onto the game. Now, it is an ultra wide so the video may look a little bit stranger than normal. I'm not too sure really till I finish it. But basically I'm just going to go be going around testing the FPS I get with the ultra wide monitor. It is a 5120 by 1440 so it is a 1440p monitor. Um, I haven't got any graphical settings turned on, it's all uh, on default, so there's no FSR or super Welcome dynamic scaling or anything like that. So, as you can see at the top, the 7900XTX, we're not quite getting full GPU usage, uh, but we're still getting around 70 FPS, which is, you know, I'm happy with that to be honest for uh, such a widescreen monitor. But, I can already tell that all the colours seem a lot more vibrant and the, the black seem blacker. So, I'm, overall, with the general picture quality so far, I'm absolutely loving it. It's brilliant. Everything just seems like. just just stands out more, basically. Where my old monitor was a 32 inch, it was a 4K monitor, but it was a VA panel, so some of the blacks looked a bit grey and kind of washed out sometimes and the lighting really affected it where this is uh, Samsung G9 OLED it's got like a glossy finish so even with my windows open I can still fully see everything on the screen there's like hardly any glare and wow even the, the lights on the constellation the blue rings I can like they proper stand out more and everything as well I think like overall the shadows look a lot better in the game as well it's probably just because of the contrast ratio and um, the blacks being blacker and that. So I'm going to take the ship out and do a little bit of testing outside, see what we get. I'll um, do a quantum travel, then I'll go do a little bounty and then we'll fly down to Hurston and see what we get. Now I am running AMD's latest drivers, uh, 23.9.1 I think I believe it is and when I last used these drivers on my old monitor um, the performance did drop a bit so I don't expect it to be where it was with the old drivers on this monitor purely because it was a bit lower uh, than what it was before with the older monitor. Um, the GPU usage uh, seemed to bounce around a lot more. The, power draw wasn't always as stable as it used to be and it was dipping down quite a lot like sometimes it dropped to like 80 watts power which I've never seen it do before in this game it's always been at the higher end if anything else but um, yeah so I don't even think it's gone over 400 watts yet which is quite surprising because like I said on the old drivers the power draw was a, a lot more substantial than what it is so far and I was getting 100% GPU usage which I don't seem to be getting now uh, whether that's actually to do with the drivers or the game servers I have no idea to be honest so we're going to try a little quantum travel anyway uh, I might need to set it to a further place to actually see the benefits but as you can see we've we, we dropped down until like, oh we've just hit 400 watts 400 but it's dropped down again to like subpar 300 which is quite strange it never normally used to do this especially in space i mean we're getting decent fps there and i, I have to say the con the contrast looks beautiful i on my old monitor the space you could see would be like more gray than black probably because it was a backlit panel but i'm absolutely blown away at how beautiful the oled screen is I mean, even, we're not getting 100% GPU usage, but we were getting like 117 FPS there, you know, that's pretty good. I, I just hope with um, the future AMD drivers, uh, I'll start to see more performance out of the 7900 XDX, because I do believe it has quite a lot more to give in this game, which we're not getting yet. So, 
you know, as long as it doesn't drop too drastically, so the game's unplayable, I suppose it's all right. So we're going to quantum travel to crew L3 and back uh, just to see what we get now. So we were getting about 70 in the cockpit. It did drop down a bit when I switched views, but we're back over 100 now. And we're still not at 100% GPU usage. We're at 80, 91 now. And then we're 340 watts of power draw max there, 370. So, yeah, I do believe we could get an extra maybe 10, 15 FPS if the GPU was pushed to its limits, but for some reason it's not quite getting there now. I was getting 100% GPU usage before. I don't know if that's just the difference from 4K to 1440p, but I would have thought with it being 5120 by 1440p that it should roughly be about the same because the, it's got more pixels to render on the width. I'm not quite sure how it works or if that is how it works. So if, if you do know, then let me know in the comments. Oh wow. Even just firing the lasers look, looks so much more amazing than it did on my old monitor. You know, I think I think I can take the decreased performance for now. Just over the general quality of the picture. So we're in deep space. We're getting about 70 FPS again, 60% GPU usage. We're not even CPU bottlenecked, it's only at 40, 50%. So, yeah, it might be the AMD drivers because it, it definitely wasn't this bad on the last one. I'm hoping it is the AMD drivers and it does get sorted out with the next few updates because, you know, then this monitor can only get better for me, really. So, we'll quantum travel back to Hurston, and then I think I will try do a little HRT, see how that goes. But normally in quantum travel, the GPU would be hitting 100%, straight up at 460 watts, but yeah, it's not quite getting there. 85% now usage. The clocks seem to be jumping up and down a bit, as with the power draw. I suppose that's standard. Hey, at least my electric bill will be cheaper. I suppose there's always that. So, I will accept a bounty if it'll let me open the contracts. Now, some of this could be server related as well, maybe I'm just on a bad server. It does happen now and then, but I'd probably think it's more the drivers, more than anything. Oh, I'm pretty sure it just hit 500 watts for a second there. So, we will go do this. I will have to quantum travel to an orbital marker or another planet just so I can get to the other side of Hurston. Maybe the game just needs optimising a lot better now. I don't know. Maybe it's just not really optimised for ultra wide screens. Could be a lot of things I guess. Um, I'm not really any expert in the field so... Right, anyway, we'll go do this bounty. I want to see what ships look like blowing up on an OLED panel. I, um, I did actually buy the Corsair Xenon Flex before this monitor, but it arrived dead, dead on arrival. So I got a refund for that, and then I saw that Samsung were releasing the OLED G9, so I pretty much waited for one. I managed to get one at a really good price in the UK as well, uh, 1400 It's not the G9-5C, it's the G9-3C, so basically the only difference is it doesn't have 
uh, process it for the smart menu so basically it's not a smart monitor but I don't really need a smart monitor if it's plugged into my PC I'd rather save the £300 you know I can I've got Netflix on my PC and everything, so I don't need a remote to with a Netflix or Disney or Amazon Prime button on. Uh, I've got it all on the PC already, so it's not really worth the extra £300 in my opinion. Yeah, I'm just I'm just amazed at how much more everything seems to stand out. Visually, it's so much more immersive playing on an ultra wide. I'm just uh, really happy with the panel. Such a big upgrade. So, let's fire some missiles off. See what they're like. They, didn't really, they hardly did any damage. Fire a few more. I probably need to change the missiles on this if I can. I don't know if there's any better ones. Oh, he's so red. Come on, a few more shots. I'm not the best at turning these uh, ships, the Andromeda. I'm not in the Andromeda, sorry, I'm in the Taurus, what am I saying? But yeah, they feel like boats. So I'm a bit, a bit slow at turning with them, to be honest. I'm glad the decoys are working better now. Oh, that was a nice explosion. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more bounties now. Well, that one was easy. I do have two M7As on here, so I do pack quite a punch. Back in 317, I used to use the Taurus just to kill the Hammerheads. Just stayed at a distance from them. It went backwards. Stayed at a range of 2,000 meters and the Hammerheads couldn't hit me, so... We'll see if we can get the ship to blow up again. Close up explosion. Hmm. I don't think it's working. I'm definitely hitting it. Nah, it's, it, it's not working. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Bit of GPU usage situation. We're not really going above 70%. So. Eh. Oh, we did, we have none then, just as we face the planet. It's decent FPS when you're in the third person, it's just when you go into the cockpit it really suffers. Well, I'm not sure why. Oh man, the planet did look beautiful then. So, I'm going to fly down to Hurston and see what we get down there. Hopefully because Hurston's a bit more um, of an intensive area, it might push the GPU a bit higher, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see till we get there. What drive is our? But yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell uh, from the video, but even the quantum travel looks, just power. looks so much more amazing now. There's Lorryville. There's Lorryville. Right. I'll go in third person view for this. Should look a bit nicer. I can't believe the GPUs is only pulling like. 200 to 360 watts most of the time now. It's crazy. Oh, the FPS drop there, that is... 
Mm, I think he's kind of done the opposite of what I wanted, really. It's, it's using even less of the GPU now, and I'm just getting bad FPS. If I go into the cockpit now, I bet it drops into, like, 15 FPS or something like that. Wow, that's actually a lot worse. I was getting better FPS in 4K. Wow. Yeah, this is... Maybe I need to delete my shader folder. I don't know. I should probably try that. Next time I close the game down, I'm going to delete my shader folder. I've, I already had to delete the user folder um, due to the game not loading. Well, it did load up. It was just a black screen on the monitor because obviously the resolution it was trying to load the game at just wasn't the same as the monitor. So... I had to delete the user folder and then change the settings. It worked that after that it worked. So we're getting 30 FPS and around about 40 to 70% GPU usage. And that's bad. That's real bad. I mean, at least I don't have to worry about the junction temp. So. Just had to stop for a second because I'm going to get scanned by security. Um, God damn it. Is he letting me go now? Yeah, he's letting me go. But, yeah, I just. Oh, we dropped to zero FPS for a second then. God damn. God damn. Right. Go. So I'm going to land at the space station and we'll just have a quick look around there. Please proceed to sign and then I think when I get to the space station and put the ship away, I will. I'll delete the shader cache and then I'll load back into the game. Um, and I'll just see if it gets any better, really. So, yeah, because I feel like there might be something I could change on the PC, some setting somewhere which might help. I don't really want to roll the drivers back. But again, that could be the issue. Oh, look at this for a landing. First time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, tilted a bit then. We're good. <laughs> Probably one of my better landings, not gonna lie. of the ship looks so much more vibrant and better than my last monitor. I just need to sort the performance out somehow. If any of you guys have ultra wide monitors and um, you know any settings to change which may help me then please don't be afraid to tell me in the comments. It you know, would help me out quite a lot really because I'd just be guessing for the time being of what to change. It's not really the best here either. In the low 40s, 30s. It's not going over 300 watts power draw. Welcome to the about 60, 70 percent GPU usage. Like I say, the clocks are running probably about 500 megahertz less than what they could be. So 
yeah, I'm going to quit the game and I will come back. Okay, so I'm back and deleting the shader cache made no difference. Somehow the GPU just sparked 548 watts, but still getting low GPU usage. So, yeah, I'm just going to call this video here. Uh, thanks for watching if you made it through, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, the next one won't be like via video like this, it'll be me actually playing the game. I just uh, wanted to basically get some benchmarks for how we would perform on an ultra wide monitor. Basically, my conclusion is, whilst I'm happy with the overall picture quality, because of the drivers, AMD's drivers, I'm going to say it's more, most likely the drivers, uh, the performance has dropped quite a bit. So, it was expected since on my old monitor the performance had dropped a bit going to the new drivers, so I pretty much am going to put the blame there. So, yeah, 07 and see you in the next one.